What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about the Scream 3 assembly cut that has arrived online. We'll be talking about the 13 Ghosts TV series and sharing some other plans for this show that has yet to be greenlit but it's in development. And the only thing that really has it on pause is that Sony Pictures Television hasn't picked it up and of course the ongoing strikes. I'll share some more details on what we could expect to have from that show and I'll lastly talk about the Exorcist Believer and the plot leak that is out there and how credible this is now if you don't want to know any spoilers about the exorcist believer please stop watching this video although i will say i am not going to outwardly spoil what is in this plot description i am just letting you guys know it is out there for you to discover it so diving into the first topic at hand the screen 3 assembly cut the screen 3 assembly cut arrived online Viewer non had a had intended for it to drop today anyway, but I saw over on their Twitter. Many of you might have known this if you're listening. Viewer non's Twitter of these clips they had shared, they started being striked and receiving those notices that Twitter usually sends out if you have copyright copyrighted content that the content creator or that that the rights holder no longer wants you sharing without their consent. So then it gets struck and down. Those clips from the assembly cut were taken away. So. I had the assembly cut sent to me earlier this morning. I did not share it online anywhere because I, would to I was told that it would arrive online at some point later today. And of course it did. Shout out to Scream Trilogy who ended up sharing the cut online for all of you to enjoy. I will say this about my thoughts on it. I did enjoy hearing the alterations in the score. I loved the certain bits of dialogue differences in the opening with Cotton Weary. There's like a moment where he's making comments about phone sex saying, hey, well, if we're going to have phone sex, I should at least know your name. You know, when he's talking up to the girl that he shouldn't be talking to anyway because he has a girlfriend. And then there's an entire section of the finale after they have killed Roman that is a little different in terms of Sydney walking into her house. And before she takes one final look back at the door, we hear Gail say, come on, Sid, like she's calling for Sid to come watch the movie. And then she takes one last look back at the door and then the film just ends. I think that's how it went. And then, of course, the moment where Ghostface is in their lair working on the voice changer that Roman uses, we get to hear him saying, what's your favorite scary movie? And what I thought sounded like Sydney's voice. There's a moment where Neil Prescott and Sydney have a heart to heart where i think he's hugging her according to what i saw over on twitter i was really skimming through it but i was loving some of the differences i saw if you guys want to go ahead and check out the screen three assembly cut go ahead and search for it on twitter i will not be sharing a direct link to it here in my descriptions at all but it is out there for you guys to enjoy now diving into 13 ghosts the series now a pitch deck more of the pitch deck from the, the from the people that have been pitching this project to Sony Pictures Television. More images of the pitch deck have surfaced online courtesy of JoeBlow.com. So, and it also outlines what we could get in regards to a possible Cyrus backstory if this TV show is to ever receive the green light. So here's the storyboard art on your screen. It says a parallel narrative within the series explores Cyrus's character through every stage of his life and the life events that transpire over those stages that lead him to the discovery of the Dark Zodiac and eventually designing and building his version of the Bas Basilius machine, which we know is the house in the remake from 2001. We are given background into the impetus behind his use of the machine to open a portal to the afterlife it's an epic scope of a story spanning generations with love and loss along the way now i will say this does make me excited because i recall when cyrus died in the newspaper newspaper clippings from as many times as i've seen it they referred to him as an event an adventurer so getting to see this adventurer in action over the span of this 13 episode series that they're pitching would be quite interesting and i love how there's been this constant debate about how much material within that remake is not being explored correctly because this should have been a tv show and now we have a very big possibility for this to come to fruition all we need is for these strikes to cease and we need sony pictures television to actually get on board with it so if you want them to do all that please keep on letting sony pictures television know that you want to see this series if you want to of course if you don't want to then so be it and you can keep on enjoying that 2001 remake but i think it would be a very nice touch to the series to dive into the backstory of this adventurer that we know cyrus was 
because he was really just an enigma in a lot of ways in that remake, which is fine, but exploring that enigma in this capacity wouldn't be too earth shattering. It wouldn't make me view the character any differently other than just enlightening me in terms of where he stands and what his mindset is going into creating this machine and what his motivations are underneath it all because we know he squandered the family fortune so maybe that could factor in to the 13 ghost tv series as well now diving into the exorcist believer a reaction and plot leak for the exorcist believer has surfaced online some have speculated that perhaps this is someone who took it upon themselves to collect the spoilers and share them but i'm inclined to believe that this is from someone who was present at the test screenings because i sent it to my test screening sources and they've doubled down on how true this leak is and it matches what i've known and what i've been trying to discuss without flat out spoiling the film in regards to how poorly handled chris mcneil is in this film she's being billed as an expert but according to this leak she does the most ridiculous crap in this upcoming movie as i already knew so they're just reconfirming what i was told there are characters literally around chris like paula who is ann dowd's nurse character that are sidelined so chris can be here and it comes off forced on paper so i can only imagine how it's going to come off on screen this person also reconfirms reagan's cameo they're confirming the opening sequence and how we how we lose the the, the i believe their name is the fieldings the fieldings mother uh wife since the wife to victor anyway mother to the other girl not Catherine. i can't remember the other girl's name so reagan's cameo is mentioned in this plot leak they go over the opening the fate of the girls is mentioned in this plot leak but i will say me and my sources are in agreement that some of these leaks could be how the movie has changed over time since these multiple test screens that have occurred because some of the details are not what i was originally told still though a bulk of this matches my notes this person is still citing that the pacing is a problem that the film seems to handle the disappearance of the girls quite well and it keeps it mysterious but there's no outlandish demonic demon dialogue that even comes close to rivaling that original the finale is apparently underwhelming chris and reagan are wasted legacy character appearances etc so it doesn't, again, sound like it's going to be the worst thing ever, but it doesn't seem like this is an appropriate legacy sequel to The Exorcist that a lot of diehard fans who care and pay attention to attention to detail are going to be too thrilled about. And of course, there are some jabs at the patriarchy. I'm not going to say how, but in context of how it is here, it seems a little bit ridiculous because it's cited in a way that tries to rationalize chris's lack of involvement in certain aspects of that first movie and it's a little ridiculous <laughs> i'm all about tearing the patriarchy down in correct ways but this ain't one of them chief let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and if you would like to read the plot leak for the exorcist believer yes i'll leave a link to it in the description and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video